Are you a first time home buyer just wondering what the process is really like? I'll tell you all about it. First time home buying process. First things first, make sure you are financially and emotionally ready to buy a home. It can be a process sometimes. It can be a daunting task, but so worth it. Second thing is just get pre-approved. Speak to a lender, either by recommendation from a real estate agent, if you already have a real estate agent in mind, or you can find a mortgage broker or lender directly. You'll just give them the insight on what your debt to income ratio looks like, your credit score, and the areas you're interested in, as well as what kind of home you're interested in. That'll give them the idea of what kind of loan options are available to you and what may be the best route to take. Third thing would be get with an agent and set up a search. Most agents have the ability to set up a search on the local MLS for whatever you tell them to search that you want to search for. Whether it be a certain type of home, a certain size, a certain number of bedrooms, if you want a fenced in yard for your dog, or whatever the case may be, they can set up a search in the budget that your lender gave you to be able to search throughout the entirety of the area that you want to be in. Many times the search then can send you automated emails each time there's a new listing that matches your criteria. At that point, you also would look, talk to the agent about what the market's like and what you need to be prepared for in this market. Fourth thing is the fun part. Go tour some homes. Once you've got a list together, let your agent know and they will set up those homes and you guys go and tour them. It's the fun part is just going and looking at homes, finding what you like best, what you think you like, what you don't like, what ends up being more practical. All of that is found out when you're actually touring the homes. The fifth part would be going and putting in an offer. This is the really scary part because then it's in somebody else's hands, the seller's hands. But if you have a good agent, they'll walk you through, through what every single part of the contract means and the best way to put together your offer to look the best for the sellers. Once your offer is accepted, then it's time to get all your documents together to the lender, tax returns, other kinds of documents that they ask for, as well as sending in your escrow deposit, which is a very important part of the offer, and you set up your inspection on the property. You would never, as a brand new home buyer, want to forego an inspection on the property you're buying. An inspector basically goes in and just checks out every single inch of the house that they can to let you know what the condition is like, what you may have to look for later, what kinds of repairs should have been done or need to be done, as well as any maintenance types of things that may have been foregone or just ignored for years or whatever the case may be. They check the roof, they check plumbing, they check the AC, they check electrical, tons of things. I mean, it's going to be a report that's probably 50 to 100 pages long. Do not be intimidated by it. Your agent will be able to walk you through also what you might need to really look at in the inspection, what would be a good idea to ask for from the sellers to fix or not ask for. Seventh step would be the rest of the process, which is just getting documents to the lender, getting utilities set up, getting everything ready for closing. Your utilities would be setting up electricity, water, public services such as trash or recycling, your internet if you want internet, cable, those types of things. So for the eighth step, you're so close. All that is left is the final walkthrough and closing. Or the walkthrough is usually the night before or the morning before closing. And closing would be your last step before getting the keys, which will take place at either the title company or an attorney's office, whichever your state actually does, is, is attorney state or a title state. If you're getting a loan, there's gonna be tons and tons of paperwork to sign, so don't be discouraged. But tons of information, tons of paper to sign, and your title agent or attorney should be able to explain every document to you, so you know exactly what you're signing. Then it's the celebration! You have the keys, they're in your hand, it's time to go move. For any other questions, feel free to reach out to me or your agent or whoever is helping you in the process of buying your first home. If you want a physical copy 
of a great little flow chart to help you along your, the process of buying your first home, check out my link below. If you loved this video, subscribe. If you liked this video and want to know more about processes on buying homes, check out my one about the new construction home buying process.